let me move on to da number six so friends here they have given two pie chart and one table chart right the first pie chart is total students passed in in the year 2012 that is 30,000 students and the second pie chart where total number of students passed is 40,000 but in the year 2013 so friends here all the values in both the pie charts are given in degree 64.8 degree 43.2 degree so all the values in both the pie charts are in degree so friends here they have given a table chart right so percentage of boys passed in the year 2012 so all the values are given in percentage for all the colleges similarly percentage of girls passed in the year 2013 similarly all the values are given in percentage okay friends let me move on to all the different question that is based on this chart question number one what is the number of female students passing in 2012 from college c so friends our target to find how, how much of female students have passed in college c that is in the year 2012 so friends they are talking about college c in 2012 friends look at here friends in 2012 we know that the total number of students are 30,000 so friends listen carefully in 2012 total number of students are 30,000 we need to see how much students are studying in college c so friends college c is 64.8 degree so we can say this as 64.8 divided by 360 friends if it is in percentage in order to remove the percentage divided by 100 but here we can see all the values are in degree so if in order to remove the degree so 64.8 divided by 360 right okay so friends listen here this is the total number of students who are studying in college c our target to find a female students right female students that is passed friends listen carefully percentage of boys passed in 2012 in college c is 50 percentage if 50 percentage of college c boys pass then the remaining 50 percentage will be girls Friends, got the logic they are talking about only boys in 2012 if 65 percentage of boys are passed in college a in 2012 then i can surely say that the remaining 35 percentage should be girls similarly 45 percentage is boys so i can surely say that the remaining 55 must be girls so our target to find the female students passed here we know that college c male passed is 50 percentage so the remaining 50 percentage is female so i can say that remaining 50 percentage the girls passed so friends most important thing so out of this 30,000 students college c is 64.8 degree so out of this college c where female are in 50 percentage so 50 divided by 100 now we need to cancel all the values so friends i think uh, we can cancel one two three zeros and similarly we can cancel one two three zero right okay we can cancel this on two table if i cancel this on two table that is 18 if i cancel this on two table friends three twos are six two twos are four four twos are eight again we can cancel this on two table nine twos are 18 if i cancel this on two table one twos are two six twos are 12 again two so friends i think we can cancel this on three table if i cancel this on three table three threes are nine if i cancel this on three table five threes are 15 a reminder will be one that is 12 5.4 so here it is three i think we can cancel three that is 10 times friends so the remaining values are only we have values on the numerator right so 50 the second will be 5.4 and the third will be 10 so this can be written as friends listen here friends 5.4 into 10 will be 54 right so 50 into 54 the resultant will be 2700 so i can say that 2700 girls that is female who passed in college c that is in the year 2012 so friends the most important thing in this table chart they are only talking about boys similarly look at here friends percentage of girls passed in 2013 if in college b 2013 40 percentage of girls passed then how much of boys passed friends we can surely say that if 40 percentage of girls passed in 2013 in college b then i can say that 60 percentage of the remaining that is remaining 60 percentage will be the boys passed in the year 2013 so friends most important question understand the concept clearly if you understand the concept then solving all the questions will be so easy question number two what is the number of male students passing in 2013 from college f so friends our target to find how much of male students passed in college f that is in the year 2013 friends in the year 2013 we know the total number of students are 40,000 
so the total students in 2013 is 40,000 students so out of this 40,000 students initially our target to find how many students are there in college F so the college F is 86.4 degree so in order to remove the degree that is 86.4 divided by 360 so friends the second thing our target to find the number of male students so 2013 girls passed in college F is 40 percentage so we can surely say that the remaining 60 percent must be definitely males so I can say that the remaining 60 will be males so friends clear on the logic if 40 percentage in college F 2013 girls is passed so I can say that the remaining 60 percentage will be boys passed so the 60 divided by 100 so we need to cancel all the values so we can cancel one two three zeros similarly we can cancel here three zeros uh, so friends we can cancel this on three two table if I cancel this on two table that is 18 if I cancel this on two table 43.2 again we can cancel this on two table that is 9 if I cancel this on two table 2 twos are 4 1 twos are 2 reminder will be 1 6 twos are 12 so I think we can cancel this on uh, three table friends if I cancel this on three table 3 threes are 9 so if I cancel this on three table 20 so I think we can cancel this on three table so 1 threes are 3 7 threes are 21 the reminder will be so 3 twos are 6 so I can say that here 20 7.2 into 40 so 20 into 7.2 into 40 so friends i think uh, 7 for 7.2 20 so 20 into 40 will be 800 so 800 into 7.2 so 7.2 into 8 will be 576 so i can say that 5760 the total number of male students who passed in college f that is in the year 2013 question number three Number of boys passed from college E in 2012 is what percentage of number of boys passed in C in 2013? So friends listen carefully in many videos repeatedly I'm saying that if the question that is in the format call is what percentage of then definitely we can say that it is in the format X is what percentage of Y. So this will be X divided by Y into 100. So friends the numerator x that is boys passed from college E in the year 2012 and the denominator y the number of boys passed in college C that is in the year 2013. So friends first of all let me see how much of boys passed in college E in the year 2012. So 2012 I can say that the total number is 30,000. So the total number will be 30,000. So out of this 30,000 college E friends, so college E will be 43.2 degree. So 43.2 divided by 360. So out of this our target to find college E the total number of boys passed. So the college E friends, the total number of boys passed will be 55 percentage. Look at here friends, college E boys passed in the year 2012. So 2012 college E, the total number of boys passed will be 55 percentage. So I can say that 55 divided by 100. So total divided by. Next our target to find number of boys passed in college C 2013. So friends 2013 will be 40,000. So out of this 40,000, our target to find in college C friends. So college C which is 36 degree. So I can say that college C has 36 degree. So out of this 36 degree, our target to find number of boys passed. So friends, 2013 college C, see how much of boys passed, right? So college C 2013 is 55 percentage girls passed. So I can say that the remaining 45 percentage will be boys. So 45 divided by 100. So write everything in a single step so that you can cancel all the values easily. So here we can cancel 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, we can cancel 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So 360, 360, 100, 100. So friends, the remaining values are 55 into 43.2 into here it is 3. So divided by here we have 45, 36. So 45 and we have 36 and we have 4 into 100 so friends now try to cancel all the values friends uh, if i cancel this on 5 table so i can surely say that it will be 9 so if i cancel this on 5 table that is 11 so cancel this 1 3 is 3 2 3 3 is 9 right so uh, we can cancel this on 3 table friends if i cancel this on 3 table 1 3 is 3 reminder will be 1 4 3 is 12 reminder will be 1 so i can say that 4 3 is 12 okay now i think we can cancel this on two table so two twos are four if i cancel this on two table 7.2 so again cancel this on two table that is uh, 
so we can cancel this on 3.6 that is 0 0.1 so finally I can say that 11 into 0 0.1 into 100 so the total will be 110 percentage so finally we got the answer 110 percentage so friends most interesting and important DA so don't forget to learn if you are going for any competitive exam practice a DA which has a more number of degree values right so that you can easily crack if the question is difficult question number four what is the difference between the number of male student passed in the year 2013 and female student passed in the same year so friends our target to find the difference that is for the male student and the female student in the year 2013 so friends if we use a normal traditional method i think we can't able to solve these types of question faster why because if i use a normal method first of all we need to find how much male students passed in the year 2013 then we need to find how much female students passed in the year 2013 and we need to find the difference for this all the six colleges it will take nearly five minutes friends so my advice we can't able to use a shortcut here let me simplify this method right friends 2013 right so 2013 we know that total there are 40,000 students so out of this 40,000 students we need to see how much of students are college C so 40,000 students 36 degree so 40,000 students 28.8 degree so 40,000 students 64.8 degree so we can surely say that in all the calculation where 40,000 will be there so I can take 40,000 as common friends got the logic 40,000 as common so in all the values I can surely say that percentage will be there so if I remove percentage from all the values so divided by percentage I am just taking 40,000 in common and 100 in common so the remaining values are friends listen carefully most important thing college A that is 72 degree right so 72 divided by 360 so how much students have passed in college A that is female so college A female is 50 percentage so I am just going to write this alone friends got the logic friends here it is 50 percentage so 50 by 100 I am taking 100 as common and we know that every value has 40,000 I am just taking 40,000 as common so the remaining are 72 into 50 divided by 360 let me simplify the equation so that we can calculate the values faster so friends second thing college B so college B that is 72 and the girls passed in college B will be 40 divided by 360 so college C so college C will be 36 divided by 360 and college C the percentage of girls passed will be 55 so next is college D so college D will be 28.8 degree and college D where the percentage is 50 divided by 360 then college E that is 64.8 divided by 360 and college that is E college E the females that is girls passed will be 60 percentage and college F friends college F will be 86.4 into 360 where college F female passed will be 40 so if I calculate this we can get how much students are passed that is the total number of female students passed in the year 2013 right so friends I think call it we cancel we can cancel 0 0 we can cancel this both the 0 right and uh, we can cancel all the values friends no other way if I cancel 0 0 okay 36 into 2 will be 72 okay we can cancel this 0 and 0 similarly we can cancel this 1 4 are 4 9 4 are 36 right we can cancel this 8 9 are 72 okay then I can do this as 10 times so this will be 55 divided by 10 which is 5.5 right okay we can cancel 0 and 0 if I cancel this on 3 table friends if I cancel this on 3 table or 2 table right so this will be 18 if I cancel this on 2 table 14.4 again we can cancel this on two table that is 9 if I cancel this on two table 7.2 so 9 we can cancel this on 0 0.8 friends so 0 0.8 into 5 that will be 4 so similarly we can cancel 0 and 0 6 6 are 36 so we can cancel this 1 6 are 6 so 48 can't be there, right so point uh, 8 6 are 48 so I can say that 0 0.8 okay now uh, we have we can cancel 0 and 0 similarly cancel this 2 times 18 again 2 times 9 right so we can cancel this on 9 table friends so 9 7 are this will be 9.6 right okay 9.6 so we need to add all the values so it will be 400 then 5 into 2 will be 10 friends so 8 into 1 will be 8 then here it is 55 by 10 will be 5.5 .5. and here it is 8.5 into 10 will be 4 so friends next is uh, 1.08 I think it will be 10.8 right this will be 10.8 friends so 10.8 so this will be 10.8 and this will be 9.6 6 
so finally 400 so this will so 10 8 4.5 then 4, 10.8 and 9.6. So finally I can say that 47.95. So we got 47.9. So if I multiply this 19160. So friends, finally we got the total number of females passed in the year 2013 will be 19160. Our target to find the difference. We know that in 2013 the total number of students are 40,000. Friends, listen carefully. That is female pass difference. We know that the total, total number of students are 40,000. So 40,000 students is the total number and the females passed will be 19,160. So just see when we subtract this 19,160 when we subtract from the total number of students the resultant will be total number of males passed. So we can surely say that the total number of males passed will be uh, 2840 friends. So I can say that 2840 so 2840 will be the total number of males passed and we already calculated the total number of female parts our target to find what is the difference right we need to find the difference for both so i can say that the difference will be 1680 so i can say that 1680 will be the difference so friends this is one of the most important question in the data interpretation topic so finally we have some four different question on this da and don't forget to watch all the remaining day on my youtube channel thank you so much for watching this video bye